Oh my god, we've got Sean the legend has been revived. And there he is, the legend himself. Heroes never die. Sean the legend revived. Joey B. So here we go. Firstly, it's really hard to eat with a, a spoon. So I've used the uh, chopstick uh, knife and spoon method. So the pasta isn't the greatest quality, it's a bit hard, I feel like it's a microwave, it's very piney. The sauce is more of a sweet ketchup sauce, the sausage just tastes like your standard uh, hot dog. Overall it's pretty good, it's, it's more of a hearty meal, but uh, in terms of flavour, it's just okay. <laughs> It's still got that glistening, it's still got the oils, the juices coming out, it's moist, it's fresh, the skin is not really coming off, so you get to have that whole mouth one bite. But the crust itself, it could use uh, some more extra herbs and spices, but it's still a real good chicken. Right, Wow, I think these chips are probably one of the best ones I've had here. I don't know the last thing you really dry. Kind of like a glue consistency with force it comes out. But it really won't drip or fall. Over here, it's too loud over there. But it's a bit better when it comes together. It's a very subtle tarot bite, which is really delicious. And the consistency goes well with the dry of the dryness of the crust. But you rip both together, it kind of works. But the crust itself is just so bad and dry. It's kind of like crispy cardboard. Um, it just dries out. The crunch does not remain. You have that first initial snap, and then it turns into kind of like wet cardboard. Overall, not the greatest. So we're on the bus again, heading to Marble Mountain. What is the password? Ah, there it is. You need the secret key card. Man. Oh. Oh, the bats. It's the bat cave. Hmm. Hmm. Let me help you out, bro. You're a bit stuffed now, aren't you, buddy? Checkmate. So we can go to the sea watching tower or we can go to the Van Tong cave which requires a lot of stairs so obviously we're going this way I mean no really I like to, to look at the sea I really want to watch the sea oh no stairs oh no watch out caution slippery step <sighs> is it this where Iron Man was in the first movie now here is the real challenge oh god was it worth it? Oh, more rocks. Now, level two, in complete darkness. I just came out of there. And the rock climbing continues. I'm really sweaty. It doesn't help that the rocks are so smooth and slippery, thanks to the sweat and the sunscreen. But, uh, head into the summit, guys. There it is. Well, isn't that giving back to charity? God bless you, Vietnam. So generous.
Wow, this beautiful. Oh no, not another case of the slippery step. Y'all need to ride down the stairs? My name is Slippery Slippery Stair. Here we go. Finally reached the bottom of the mountain. I am sweaty, I am dead, I am thirsty, dehydrated. Uh, it's a really good experience, I highly recommend it. But make sure you bring hiking shoes because I'm wearing slides and it was very slippery. The slippery stairs, watch slippery out. Slippery stairs! Um, and you've got a lot of climbing to do for overall. Jesus. Anyway, I'm out. So we're back on the bus. We're going to get some bun sao before we go to Hoi An. Here is Tweet with a special way of how to eat it. So, the bayung, the bayung, put rice paper in the hand, then put the salad vegetable in, put the pancake, and then the pork skewer, pull the pork off the skewer, and you roll it up like a rice paper roll and dip it in sauce. Here we go. Let's Absolutely delicious. Lots of peanut sauce is so delicious. It's got the right balance. It's not too spicy. The peanut butter really comes through. The crispiness of the actual bun sao is delicious. I'm getting the prawn. And the veggies give it a nice balance. It's not too meaty, not too rich. It's just really easy to eat a million of these. Round two. I think the best thing here is the peanut sauce. That's what's really uplifting all these ingredients. But all together, it comes into a very good harmony. The veggies give it a nice crunch. The pork adds that extra delicious meaty flavor. Um, the bun sauce is very crispy and rich and oily and juicy. As you see, the sade sauce. But what's interesting is that there's actually chunks of that delicious pork skewer in it. You see, there's chunks of pork and it's very delicious. It gives it a more umami, savory experience. This has been probably one of the best things I've eaten on this trip so far. And I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's an absolute delicious combo. And I think everyone should try it. And I'm going to go eat more. Goodbye. <laughs> that was delicious and that was a good meal. Now we're off to Hoi An. Let's go. So we're walking the streets of Hoi An and it is raining, uh, but we're on our way to get delicious banh mi. Apparently it's really popular. Anthony Bourdain has tried this. I want to try it myself and see if it lives up to the hype. And this is the line. You can see it's quite popular. Look. There he is himself. Anthony Bourdain. Here we go. Many more layers of flavor than a normal bun meat. Especially, you get the crispiness of the bread. Then you get that chili, it's not too spicy. And then the meat. You've also got this kind of satay paste. There's so many more elements of flavor here. Meat, satay, butter. This crunch of veggies, crunch of the bread, the meat is delicious. <laughs> You've got this kind of uh, garlic satay paste going on. Take all of that. Layers of flavor. You've got the chili up there, you've got the satay there. Behind that is butter and cream cheese. And let's take a look at these meats. So you've got the cold cut there, you've got the crispy pork belly at the top there, and then you've got this meat which looks like it's been marinated in lemongrass. You've got the lettuce, you've got the cucumber, you've got the herbs there. This is absolutely delicious. Not to mention the bread itself. It's fresh. So that was an absolutely delicious experience. I highly recommend it. I think that's probably one of the better bunnies I've had in my life. I think the flavors were delicious. It was a very cheap, $1.70 for it. Uh, there was a lot of different layers and complexity to it. And also, the ratios was a lot better. It was a lot more balanced than the other one I had in Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon. So I highly recommend it if you are in Hoi An. It is worth coming here just to get some fun money. It was good. Here are the iconic lanterns in Hoi An. Slowly rowing down in Hoi An and see the nightlife. It's so pretty and beautiful. It's 
so peaceful. So the tradition is you get these lanterns and you light them up and put them in the river. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, oh, hey, Tom. <laughs> Farewell, candle! Farewell! <laughs> Can you see the light in me? Can you see the light in me? Cafe Gao Lao, trying out the Gao Lao, which is a noodle slash pork dish. What he said, perfectly done. Noodle slash pork dish, not really sure. Just scrap that for now. Mmm. Mm. It's more of a, like a satay sweet sauce that goes with it too. It's probably about to be a bit of crunch to give it a bit of a different texture, but it's more of a dry fried noodle. Got a bit of chili. A bit of chili and a bit of lime. I'm going to add a bit more flavor. Round it out. A lot better. Adding the lime and uh, chili has added a new dimension of flavor. It's a more rounded um, flavor, but it's still really good on its own. I still like the sweet, savory sauce that it's fried in. Not anything breakthrough for me. I still give it about a seven out of ten. 